Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a mathematician, and today I'm going to show you how to find the x and y intercepts of a function. So first I'm going to draw some sample functions for you and show you what happens when I graph their x and y intercepts. So here's an example of a function, and here's its x-intercept because that's where it hits the x-axis. At that point, we're going to estimate that point to be 4, 0, right? Here's another function. It hits the x-axis right here. I can estimate that point to be 1, 0. Here's another function. That x-intercept might be negative 2, 0. What I notice is that across the board, no matter where my lines or functions hit the x-axis, the y value is always 0. So if I have an equation like y equals 3x, plus 1, and I want to find the x-intercept, I'm going to replace y with 0, because at that point, 0, that's where it hits the x-axis. So now I'm just going to solve for x. Subtract 1 on both sides. I'm going to get negative 1 equals 3x. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides, and I get x is negative 1 third. So my x-intercept is negative 1 third. Now, the opposite is true for the y-intercept. Anywhere along my y-axis, the x value is going to be 0, right? That's 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. I'm sorry, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. So what I'm going to do now is replace my x with 0 and bring down everything else and solve for y. So when x is 0, that's 0 plus 1, y equals 0 plus 1, y equals 1. So my y-intercept would be 1. So to find the x-intercept, I replaced y with 0 and solved. And to find the y-intercept, I replaced x with 0 and solved. My name is Maria, and I just showed you how to find the x and y-intercepts of a function.